Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My, my name is Tracy and this is Not Afraid of Color. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to show you how I used a stencil from A Colorful Life Designs and a couple of different stamps to create this darling little kitty cat with the animal print background. So we're going to start out today um, with the supplies that I used. So this is a stencil from A Colorful Life Designs. It's called Paint Strokes. And uh, when my friend Tracy demoed this, um, the first thing I saw in my mind was animal print. So yeah, and this is just a piece of scrap paper. So because I'm using an end of that stencil and I don't wanna go over. So a little kitty from uh, Technique Junkies called Kitty Watching. And by the way, that was the 110 pound accent opaque cardstock. And this is a Introverts uh, Unite stamp set. And I believe it's Kathy Zilski. I threw away the wrapper, so I, I'm pretty sure it is. I'm using Versafine Claire, I'm going to use Catherine Puller in Catching Rays and Tiki Torch and some various brushes. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going going to grab my paper here and I'm going to kind of move everything around so I have some room and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to do some really random ink blending on the background of this card. So I'm starting out with the Catching Rays which is a lighter orange and then I'm going to go in with the Tiki Torch and it's just for variation of color in the background because this is going to be covered in the stripes so I don't need it to be perfect by any means. I just need to get the color down. And it's probably easier to hold this little guy than to try to keep tapping over onto it. And I'm just making sure that I've got the color on. And I do have this sped up because these are, you know, fundamental things. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose the this end slash looking stencil. And you see how I've got my piece of paper there. And I'm just going to go through and I'm going to be just stenciling in, just kind of going down the line, trying to be careful not to smudge um, oh, about an inch to an inch and a half apart on each stripe. And I am varying the depth of the stripe on each one. And in hindsight, I'm gonna recommend using a thicker piece of paper as your mask or your protection because this one actually leaked because it's a really, really thin, just like a notepad paper. Um, but, you know, I already got started on it, so I'm just gonna do what I do. And I'll, I'll tell you one thing. This using the VersaFine Claire, um, it stays wet and so it can smudge very easily. So I'm constantly watching for fingerprints um, <laughs> because that's going to be me, right? But I just move the stencil down and get the first stripes on on the on the one side, and then I'm going to move my paper and I'm going to take and clean my stencil off and clean everything because I'm going to be flipping over and using the reverse side of the stencil. So I do not want to get any ink on, um, you know, from the stencil onto my card. So now I've got the stencil flipped over and I'm going to go back down the other way, again, varying in the stripes. So this first one, I don't need my little mask because it's right off the edge of the mat there. And I'm just using my little silicone mat and I'm going to try and slide my little mask paper there and try to keep my fingers out of the ink. You could use any ink you want. I just wanted a really dark, dark black. And I didn't want to use the Catherine Pooler uh, Midnight because I don't want to stain up my stencil. <laughs> and I know it will. So just kind of going down the line, varying the, you know, how deep in the stripes go. And you could do, you know, zebra, leopard, whatever. Whatever. I mean, this stencil is super, super versatile. I've, I've, I've seen a lot of different examples of how people used it. So there we go. There's our big stripe. Now I'm going to move this out of my way and clean up again. And I don't need my scratch paper anymore because the next stencil I'm going to use is smack dab in the middle. So <laughs> I'm not too worried about it. 
So I want to make some smaller stripes in here too. So I'm going to take this middle one and I'm just going to go same thing, just, you know, on down the line, varying the depth of the stencil. A lot easier with this one because it's not an end stencil. You, you could you could tape the paper to it if you wanted to, but I didn't want to have to mess with sticky stuff because <laughs> I'm already messing with an ink that I know I'm going to get mess up. <laughs> so I'm going to wipe this off because I'll be again flipping it over using the reverse side. Just making sure I don't see any places of ink that I can get... <laughs> that I can get on something, because if I can, I will. And same thing, flipped it, flipped over the paper, and I'm just gonna go down the line and put in stripes. You can put as many or as few as you want to. But this little stencil makes a great organic, you know, animal print. I guess there are animal print stencils out there, but I like this one because it's more versatile, and I messed that one up, but it's fine. I'll, it'll probably get covered up. <laughs> Uh, I rather than do the whole thing over, I figured I would just go ahead and keep what I have there because that's how we do, right? We find ways. And that was a lot of ink I used. Um, and I'm just cleaning up my stencil, making sure that I have no black ink anywhere for my next step. <laughs> All right. So now I've got, this is an 80 pound accent opaque that I'm going to be stamping the little kitty on. So I'm just going to trim it so it'll fit in my small uh, Misty, my mini Misty. And let me grab my mini Misty here, and I'm going to take out the magnets and take out the mouse pad because the uh, Technic Junkie stamp is a red rubber stamp, and so it's a thicker stamp, so I need that depth. And I'm just trimming that, and it doesn't have to be perfect because I'm going to be fussy cutting. I just need to get him on there. So where did I put Kitty? I know you're here somewhere. There you are. Okay. I'm going to get little Kitty watching out. I love, love, love this stamp. It's probably in my top 10 favorite stamps just because of the look on that cat's face. <laughs> He's so adorable. And I do have a cat that looks like that. He's a tabby. Okay, and just stamp that down. And I'll probably end up stamping this twice just to make sure it's good and dark. And you know, it's important too that once you've stamped this that you let it dry completely um, because you're gonna be doing some ink blending over it and you don't wanna smudge that black ink. I do end up smudging it a little, but it doesn't, it doesn't have any major impact. You can see I've got black, black ink everywhere. I'm horrible. And um, I do believe that I might have accidentally dipped my orange bl brush into the black ink. Um, yeah, that's something I would typically do. And I'm going to wipe Kitty off really well because I'll be using him again. And I'll show you when, when we come to that part. So I'm going to go ahead and put my mouse pad back in because I'm going to do my sentiment now. And making sure, I mean, yes, my hands are stained, but there's nothing, you know, wet on my hands. And I'm just going to trim this so it'll fit in my mini Misty because this is also going to be trimmed down. So I'm just going to place this in the, in the mini Misty. And then I'm going to grab my stamps that I want for the front of the card from this Introverts Unite stamp set. And uh, what I'm putting is, if you can read this card, and I'm going to grab um, my embossing, my clear embossing, and I'm going to grab my um, rabbit hole designs um, anti-static powder applicator here and put some anti-static powder on there because I will be embossing this. And let me just... I changed my mind because um, I wanted a thicker paper. That was the 80 pound. And for the sentiment part, I want a thicker paper because I'm going to be popping it up and I don't want to, you know, there's less chance of it getting bent up in the mail because this card will be going out to 
somebody in one of my card swaps from the Foiling Snobs Club. Um, somebody that was okay with the snarky card. <laughs> and I'm just putting this little piece of tape down here as a spacer. Um, just to, so I can get my stamp straight. Um, and because I'm using two different stamps. And I just need need a little help with my eyeballs here. <laughs> you don't have to do that, but yeah, I'm doing it. So I'm just kind of laying that across the, um, just above the mint tape that I put down. And then I'm putting the little sentiment down. And eyeballing it pretty much to see that if you can is straight, you know, parallel with, or yeah, straight with the, if you can uh, read this card. So that it's all one good sentence. And then I'll go ahead and use my Verse Fine Claire. And um, coat the stamp. And then stamp it down. These are really good stamps, by the way. Just just, just so you know. <laughs> They're good stamps. That I, they stamp perfect the first time. Um, and I'm happy about that. Because sometimes when I stamp a second time, it seems like my paper didn't move. But half the time it does move. So I'll go ahead and set this aside for now and uh, go ahead and pour my clear embossing powder onto the card. Let me get this over here so I don't spill it everywhere. And just gently tap off and then I'll go ahead and take my heat tool to it. And this is also going to be trimmed down um, because it's going to be basically a strip on the card. So let me go ahead and grab my embossing tool, uh, my heat embossing tool. I got a new one. Got it at Hobby Lobby for five bucks a couple weeks ago. I'm like, yeah, I'll take a new one for five bucks. I'd had my Doris one for like a year and a half, two years, and it was so trash from me getting ink all over it. I'm just a horribly sloppy crafter. If I can get ink on it, I will. So I'm going to go ahead and trim this down. And what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to make the words right parallel to the clear guard. And let me see here. This one I always have trouble with. Um, and just make sure that it's straight. And trim it down so that it's just, just that about it's just a little bit, tiny bit over in an inch strip. And then we're going to go ahead and get Kitty back out. And I'm going to start with Kitty's eyes. And I want him to have green eyes because I like green eyes. And this is a new ink I got from Simon Says Stamps. It's it's celery. And this is... Um, and I'm going to do a little review on this ink because I only bought one because I wanted to test it. Because you know how it is. Um, and I'm looking for my little makeup applicator here to because I just want to do a small portion of his eyes you could use a brush whatever you could color them in with a pen I just like the color of this ink and I'm just going to kind of just dab this in the eye area and I can see here that my black ink was not dry enough but that's okay I'm just going to let it go I'm going to finish the eyes and then I'll go ahead and heat set this um verse fine clear ink so that um so I don't smudge it when I'm doing the orange on this kitty because he's also going to be an orange kitty. My tabby is not orange. I want an orange kitty, but I have too many cats already, so I can't have an orange kitty. Unless one wanders onto our porch and has no home, then I'll have an orange kitty. <laughs> because that is my MO. We will take in strays. And there's a reason I have nine cats. So... I'm just heat setting this kitty cat here because I want to get the orange down on him and I don't want the black to smudge everywhere. Now it feels dry to me, but watch. So I'm going to take the little finger blender. These are just little finger blender brushes I get from Amazon. And I'm going to do just like the center of his face, the lighter orange. And then I'll go around the sides with the Tiki Torch. So started with catching rays, now I'm going in with the Tiki Torch. So that it kind of just gives a little sense of depth. And all I'm doing is just trying to avoid the eyes, but mainly just laying down color. And it's okay if I go outside the lines because I'm going to fussy cut this cat out. And it's going to be easier than you think because I'm going to do a technique where you... Um, 
you basically stamp down on the paper to capture, you know, any like stray hairs and little whiskers and stuff like that. And um, then you glue this on top. Making sure I've got good color in there. Oh, kitty. <laughs> I'm terrible. Okay, I'm happy with that. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut him out. And again, I'm not really worried about like the whiskers and the really any parts that are totally black around the outside because they'll, they'll be stamped down directly onto the card. So we'll just go ahead and cut him out. And I'm still, you know, trying to get the major portions that have the orange. I want as much as I can, but um, there's no way I can cut those whiskers out. <laughs> They're just, nobody could, even if you had a, a die cut for it. They're just too thin to really be viable. So just kind of cutting around his head. And he's actually cute without the whiskers too, but you know, whiskers make the kitty. <laughs> so he's uh, some sort of Savannah tiger cat or something. <laughs> And I don't know about you guys, and I chose this um, Introverts. I don't have a whole lot of snarky stamps, but I chose this Introverts Unite because, believe it or not, as chatty as I am, um, I am an introvert. I don't go around people. I don't invite people over. I, You know, when people want to get together and socialize, I freeze. <laughs> I want to. <laughs> um, I'm perfectly fine over the phone, perfectly fine chatting online, but on a human level, face-to-face, -face, not happening. I, uh -uh. I don't really go anywhere. Um, you know, if I do go somewhere, I'm either going to a craft store or I'm going to Walmart or Kroger or Publix or something like that, but I don't, I don't go to concerts anymore. I don't, I have been went to a concert, oh gosh, I want to say about three years ago, I went to see Home Free here in Huntsville. That We don't get a lot of, you know, big names here, but Home Free is awesome. If you've never heard of them, they are an acapella band, and um, they play country music and uh, gospel, but they're good. They're awesome. So what I'm doing here is I've got my mini Misty, and I'm going to put my tiger stripes in, and I'm just going to start doing some placement. And you notice I took the uh, mouse pad out. I'm going to put Kitty down. And I'm going to put my little my little strip. Because the strip's going to get popped up. Um, but I have to decide on placement of Kitty so that I can get his whiskers down. And I'm going to go ahead and just pop a magnet on here. And use it as a spacer right here. Yeah, I want him right about there. Let me get him comfortable. And I will be trimming off the sides of this card a bit because it's four and a quarter right now and I need it to be four. But I didn't want to trim it until I got everything down so that when I do my trimming, I've still got my kitty in the center. And I'm going to find kitty snap stamp again. And you can see I'm a sloppy crafter. I just kind of throw everything off to the side, and then when I'm done, I clean everything up. And I'm just kind of feeling from where the corners of his ears are and laying them down there. And then I'll go ahead and place the misty um, lid on and then move all these things. And I'll use my VersaFine Claire, and I will stamp down this kitty. So I love acapella bands. Um, I love pentatonics, anything acapella. I just think it's, I'm just blown away by how, how these people and their voices are just amazing. Let's get him, make sure we've got all his whiskers down. And I'm not really worried about the bottom portion of it because it's going to be covered up. All right, we've got Kitty down. Let's go ahead and move this mini Misty and carry on. So uh, I've got my kitty here and I've already outlined him with the black pen. So now I'm going to, have I outlined him? No, I don't think I have. Okay, nope, I'm gonna outline him now. 
Yeah, I did outline him. Never mind. Never mind. I'm going to go ahead and glue him down right over top of the stamped image. And what will happen here is you'll still be able to see whiskers and other cool things like that. You see? So if ever you need to fussy cut something, but you don't want to lose detail, that's what you're going to do. And I'm just going to let that dry. Okay, I've got that piece dry. Now I want to take the, um, I'm going to go ahead and do my trimming now. Uh, so that's why I left off trimming because it looks like I can just trim off the one side and he'll be in the center. So I'm just trimming it down to four and then I'll trim it down to five and a quarter. Okay, there he is. Just get rid of this excess. Yeah, now I clean up. <laughs> and I've got my, this is just a black alcohol marker. It's a Cali Art. And this is all I use it for is edging cards. I'm just going to do the black marker around the edge of the card. Um, you could leave it white if you wanted to. I just want it to be black. So that's what I'm doing. I'm very carefully. And if I make a mess, that's okay because he's a striped, he's a striped background. <laughs> All right, now what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and glue him down to the card base, but you see it's a, a black card base, so I need a center, um, something to write on. I need an inside, and you guys know I you never see me do insides of the cards, but I am doing that because, again, this is going out to a card swap. So this is my 80-pound accent opaque, and I am going to cut this down to three and three quarters by five. So I can glue it to the inside, and I can put a, sorry, I was sipping my coffee there. <laughs> it's early morning. It's like 7.30 in the morning. I started this, making this video about 5, because I just woke up. It's my day off. Let's do, let's do this. I got to get these cards done, so I'll just film myself doing it. So I'm going to move Kitty, and I'm going to put mouse pad back in. And I'm going to put my little uh, three by three and three quarters by five inch piece of paper down here and decide on my, get the rest of the sentiment. But I decide that I want to do something else with the inside of the card. So I kind of have an idea where I want this. In the middle, right? <laughs> Somewhere in the middle. Uh, mostly I just want it straight so I'm just gonna grab my T ruler here and kind of use it to help me make sure this is nice and straight and try not to get any fingerprints inside of the card <laughs> and let's see here yeah I want it a little bit lower just holding my T ruler and just kind of trying to set it against there and make sure it's in the middle and it's a, not the straightest sen sentiment in the world as far as like the bottom of it. So it's a little bit difficult. But since I decided, well, you know what? Yeah, I'm going to grab that stencil again. And I am going to put just a slash inside of here. Just right about there. And watch what I do. You see that orange brush? I'm thinking I'm so smart. <laughs> I grabbed the orange brush. That I already dipped in black ink and realized, what? Oh, no. Look what I did. <laughs> no problem. There's two sides to this paper, so let's just flip this bad boy over. <laughs> I'm telling you. If I had a brain, I'd be dangerous. <laughs> now I'm looking for my little brush here, my little orange finger brush. And I know it's over here in this pile because that's where I throw everything when I'm done. And I'm just going to wipe off this stencil, make sure there's no black ink on it. And there we go. Now I'm going to go into the Tiki Torch and I'm just going to make this slash. And it doesn't have to be perfect, but it has to be pretty good. Um, it, this uh, paper isn't the best for ink blending, um, at least not with Catherine Puller ink. 
I can't say for other inks. Well, yes, I can. I, I the um, it it's great for some inks. <laughs> Let's just go there. But that's good. I'm perfectly happy with that. It's just it's just an accent piece, and then I'll go ahead and stamp down the sentiment. Now I'm going to need to get myself another orange brush for my orange inks. Just get that sentiment laid down. Perfect. So the inside reads, it probably means we're not in the same room, and I'm totally okay with that. <laughs> yeah, introvert. So I'm going to go ahead and place this down on the inside of the um, black card base. So too, you have something to write on and I'm going to unclog my glue here because I left it open and it's clogged up. See that boat there in the corner? Yeah, I got plans for that boat. I forgot Nancy sent it to me <laughs> and, um, yeah, I was complaining that I didn't have any, say any ships stamps. I completely forgot about that one. So I'm just getting this down in the center of the card. And I'm sorry, you can't see the top, but there, there, now you could see it. And I've got a one little boo-boo there where I got ink, of course. Um, I'm just going to use a paper towel to kind of um, rub around to get this good and stuck down. I don't, I don't want to use my fingers. I don't trust them. And then I'll take a little mono sand eraser and just erase off that little old fingerprint piece of DNA evidence off of that <laughs> side of the car. <laughs> and now I'll go ahead and glue Kitty down. There he is. And I'm just gonna use the same glue. I'm not gonna be popping that up or anything. The sentiment strip will be popped up. I don't do a lot of popping on cards that I'm going to be sending out because I've gotten and I've sent out and people have sent me pictures of cards I've sent them that were popped up and the mail carriers just completely annihilate them. It's horrible. <laughs> so I'll go ahead and lay this down on the black card. And I'm going to go ahead and lay something flat on it so that it can dry. A little bit. I don't want it to move around on me. Okay, we've got that dry. Now I've got my little sentiment strip that I did earlier, but it is too long. It needs to be four inches, so I'm going to go ahead and trim that down just a little bit off each side until it's four inches. Okay, good. See, now it's going to be popped up, and he's going to be, like, peeking out over it. <laughs> oh, that cat. I wish I had a whole cat like that, but I don't, so he'll do fine. I'm going to go ahead and use my, um, I've got this scrapbook.com, I think scrapbook.com foam tape, and it's not a super thick one, so it only pops up, looks like, to be maybe a centimeter and I'm going to go ahead and just lay it down carefully onto this strip. And notice I put it on a paper towel in case there's any dirt that I can't see. <laughs> and I'll go ahead and just pop this strip down onto the card. Get it as straight as I can, just kind of eyeballing it. I'm happy with that. And so this is, this is the card. I think I might add a couple of little gems on here. Um, I try, I'm looking, I thought I had some black sequins, but I can't find them anywhere. So let's find something to put on here. And you don't have to, you know, I just kind of decided I would. Now let's see here. I'm looking through all of my little sequins, not finding any. So I'm going to go ahead and just See if I can find, I know I have some of those teeny tiny little rhinestones. Um, and I think one of the compartments has black in it. I'm looking for them. I'm telling you guys. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, it does have black. So I'm going to just put some little itty bitty black little guys down on here. And it's a, it's a war because they're so small. And they're, and they're hard to see because they're black. I, I, 
I used to, there's a thing with crochet and knit and even um, sewing. If somebody makes you something black, they really love you because it's so hard to see it. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> yep, so I kind of fight with these little guys trying to decide where to put them and ugh, ugh, it's a war. It's a full on war. So I'm going to grab one that will behave itself here and yeah, I got two. All right, fine. And I'm just going to put a little dab of glue on my paper. Dab of glue on my paper. Glob of glue on my paper. And I'm going to go ahead and put down glue where I want the other ones to go as well. And this is always my struggle. Where do I want to put these? I'm just going to keep them up towards the top. And into the orange part. Lay this one down, and in order to push it down, I'm using this little release paper from the um, uh, the foam the foam tape, and uh, to move that around. And these do dry clear. I'll, and I'll put a picture on the end with the after the glue is dried. Um, let's get this one down here. And there we go. Hey, <laughs> little jeweled, bejeweled kitty cat card. <laughs> what do you think? So we've got the inside and the outside of a card. I hope you like this video. If you do, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you so much for watching today. And I hope that you all have a wonderful, awesome day.